Hey friends, welcome back to your girl and today we are going to do some acetate packaging using what you may already have in your stash. So no ordering anything different or doing anything new, just using what you already have to make it look like the professional upscale <laughs> things that you purchase in the store. So before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're not already so you can see any future videos that I post in the future. New videos do happen weekly and make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. All right, so let's get started. <laughs> So we're going to work on some acetate packaging and what I mean by that is like the things that you see in, you know, the stores that we shop in for craft supplies or for anything pretty much. You see how um, it has like this cardboard piece and then it has this acetate um covering but you can see the item that you're looking at. So we're going to do something like this. Um, I have seen people alter packaging like this before of course it actually has like a square or rectangle box I've seen people alter them and I believe like the actual acetate piece the dome um, you can purchase I just honestly don't know where but if you don't want to go through all of that and you want to do your own and especially build a stash and just have some fun pretty stuff for that you can do yourself um, I'm just gonna show you how I do it so then that way you can still be able to do the same thing so the first thing you want to do is you want to cut out a hollow rectangle piece so you can either do this with your frame we are memory keepers punch board you can use your dies i decided to use dies for this and what you want to do is you want to measure the inside of it because your acetate piece is going to go in between there so if i take my ruler and i see that my inside is about three and three quarters by two and a half so that is the measurement that I want my box to be and it all depends on how the height of it as well or how deep you want it to go so if you want it to go one inch deep half inch deep or anything like that um, the one I'm going to do in the example today is going to be a half inch deep and I do have one that I made that was a one inch deep as well. So that way you can kind of get the idea of what I'm talking about or how you can utilize or know how much you need because it just all really depends on what you're going to put inside of it. So for video purposes, because acetate can't be really seen very well on camera, I'm going to use this pink paper. So this measures five and three quarters by four and a half. And I am going to score at half an inch and one inch on all four sides. Now I'm not going to fold on my score lines yet. I'm going to go ahead and do some cutting. So as you see, we have these four little squares here. What we're going to do is we are going to cut up the score line. So we have score line one, score line two. We're going to cut up the second one. And then we're going to cut up the first one. Now we're going to re completely remove these two squares here. And we're going to completely remove this bottom square here. And of course, y'all know I like to cut myself at an angle so that there is an overhang. So we're going to do it like that. And then if you want to cut these at an angle too, you're more than welcome to. Now we're going to switch it on over. And you can go ahead and create, because you're still creating kind of like a box shape. But it all depends, you know, you can do your flaps however you want. If you want to do it pinwheel style, if you want it all going in the same direction or however you want to. I'm just going to show you from the other end. So we have score one, score two. Going up the second one, going up the first one, completely removing these two tabs, and then completely removing this tab here. And I'm just going to cut my little angle pieces. All right, so now you have something that looks like that. So you're going to repeat the same step over on the other side. Now that everything is cut out, what we're going to do is you're going to take your flaps and up on that first, that top score line, we're going to fold over and then out. Over. Now for the next part, I suggest using your score tape, but for video purposes and me doing it on paper, I am going to use my trusty hot glue. You're going to take your flaps and you're going to adhere it to the part 
this part right here. So take my hot glue and have that and then so it kind of looks like you know when you open up a box and you have the flaps hanging out that's what it's going to start to look like so you're going to do that to all four sides all right. so now we have that all done i'm not going to do it on this one because that'd be a waste of tape because i'm not using this but you're going to want to add score tape on the top of your flaps and you want to flip it over, you want to adhere it to the bottom of your flaps as well. I do suggest before you actually do put your box together that you add your score tape and then glue your flaps together so then it'll be a lot easier to get it smoothed down and that it work properly. But again, video purposes. So go ahead and do that and be right back. All right, so now I have my acetate piece to go ahead and finish showing you the rest. I removed the score tape on the top portion. You can see I still have it on the bottom, but I removed it from the top. And then I have my, rect my hollow rectangle cut out and ready, and I am just going to squeeze it over the box. So then we have that. You don't want to adhere it to your base yet, um, until you have you're gonna fill whatever it is that you're going to fill for my base and then also too when you are trying to figure out the uh, size of your base you can do it however you want you can have it where it's like the stickles and you have this bigger platform and then your smaller piece of your project that way you have more room to like decorate on the top if you like to you could have it just the size of the items that you're going to put in there like you can do your base however you want mine i decided to do was four and a half by six and so then that way i could place it at the bottom and still have room to decorate if i want to punch a hole and kind of make it like a tag and go ahead and do that and then i also have mine um matted three times so i have the pattern cardstock solid 110 pound cardstock and then the pattern on the back just so it gave it some more stability you can use you know chipboard cereal board anything like that to go ahead and do that as well and if you have one of these kind of dies where it has the tear away or like the easy open flap so then that way uh, the recipient who receives it if they want to be able to reuse the package you go ahead and then you add that to the back of your uh, base so then they have a lift tab on that um, this one is the Alina Cuddle one I believe KS Pass has one too and she also has one of those um, little strip tear guides as well so that is a, another idea for you to utilize so I'm gonna get my item that I'm gonna put inside I already of my removed box. my uh, score tape on the other side of the acetate box so now I'm just going to pour beads in and I want to make sure that nothing is hanging over and then I'm gonna take my glue I'm gonna add that to my score tape and because it's beads, I want to keep them there and not have them go all over the place. I'm going to flip my um, base over and line it up from corner to edge. And then press, make sure it's all lined up, and then go ahead and press down. Trying to keep it together. Flip it over. There we go. Now I'm going to take my bone folder and just smooth everything out. So there you go. Again, a great way to go ahead and utilize what you already have to make some fun and cute packaging. I mean, if you already have all the tools and you bought them a while ago to make it like a lot quicker in your mind, then go right ahead. Have Or if you, if um, I'm not a big shopper, I don't buy a lot of things, <laughs> but um, um, if you're someone who does buy a lot of this packaging for, because because of its contents and then want to save it so you can go ahead and alter it by all means but again if you are like me and you don't do all that and you want to go ahead and make something super cute here's a great way to do it so uh thanks so much for watching guys make sure 
and check out the next video that is in the lineup. I am so appreciative of you being here, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!